Hi, this is Greg from ZE Partner. Today I'm just doing a quick video on how to chase up emails when your client hasn't responded to them. This is a really basic way to do it. My preference is to have a field on your deal and to record when you're sending them a quote or when you're sending them some task to do. And then you would set your automation based on that time date field. So if the deal is still in X stage on this date, then send this email. But this is just a quick one for the sort of built in workflow rules for emails. So under settings, we go automations, workflow rules, we create a new workflow rule and we scroll down to emails and then you just call this whatever you want. So I'll just call this uh, ZE test email and next. Now you can either choose to create this rule based on an incoming email or an outgoing email. So in our case, it's based on an outgoing email. And what we want to do is we want to run this rule when we send an email and it is unreplied. And in this case, we'll just say in 30 days. So we'll click next. And now what we can do is we can set some further rules to filter this by, and then we can tell the system to do something when that happens. So we'll say here, we don't want to set any further conditions. And we want to apply this to the contact, let's say, for example, and we'll say we want to apply it to all contacts and we'll go next. And then here we can choose what we want to happen. So in this case, we would just go email notification. We would say 30 day follow up email unresponded. And then we would choose who we want to send it to. So in this case, the email address and secondary email address of our contact. We can also put ourselves down as the additional recipient if we want. So we could say backup at zepartner.net, comma, and then save. And now we just select a template. I don't have any templates because this is just a test account, but I'm just going to create a quick template. And here we'll say, oh, skip. And we'll just say uh, template name, email, follow up, auto, just following up on my previous email. And then here, you know, hi, you can put in the contact name, just following up on the email I sent you 30 days ago. Please let me know if you are interested. Thank you, Gregory. All right, and save, save now. And we'll just pop this in the public email templates, refresh, select it there, and we'll send it from the default email address. And, oh, we're not allowed special characters in something. Oh yeah, yeah, we're not allowed special characters there. So we'll just change it to that and save. Now, what this will do is if we send an email and the person doesn't reply to that email within 30 days, we'll automatically send them this email. Now, the reason I don't like that is because your client might phone you and say, hey, yeah, let's go ahead with this. And the CRM has no way to verify that you have now heard back from your client about this specific email. They might write you a brand new email. They might reply to an old email or a, a further new email. You know, if you sent them a, a manual email in five days time about something else, they might reply to that and say, oh, and by the way, let's go ahead with that quote from last week. So this is really not the best way to do this. I will have another video soon about the way I like to deal with email chasing and uh, getting responses from your clients. And that is normally always based around the actual deal that you're working on. But for any more information or if you need any help, just put a comment down below and let me know and I'd love to help.